Well, first of all, I would like to ask for your permission to use this video for educational purpose. Yes, we Thank have you. my permission. Now, um, tell me, you had quite significant degenerative disease and disc disease in your chest area. What were your symptoms before the surgery? Before the surgery, um, I could not turn left or right. I could not bend down. Uh, I couldn't sleep on my back or on my sides. It was such a pain that somebody was stabbing me a thousand times. Mm -hmm. and, how, but um, how long did you have these symptoms? I had them. They came on gradually, uh, and they got to the point where it was bothering me so bad mm -hmm. is when I came to see you, which was about six months ago. So, but it has been going on before that for a quite long time. Oh, yes, yeah, for a couple of years. Yeah, a couple of years. Up. I One, think maybe 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. 1 to 10, how bad was the pain? It was over 10. Oh, okay. It was intolerable. So, turning, twisting, sleeping, and walking, it was as Yes, well. walking. I couldn't walk unless mm -hmm. I had a walk or a cane. Yeah, yeah. How and I couldn't stand up straight because the disc, mm -hmm. every time it turned from standing up, mm -hmm. Uh, it was cutting into the nerves. Okay, and what? how much of the pain was turning around the chest? It was probably around, on a scale of 1 to 10, mm -hmm. about a 9. Turn, but the pain it, was turning around the chest? Yes, it would take my breath away okay. as well. Yeah. It, it was like somebody was contracting yeah. your ribs. And what we looked at and what we noticed that, you know, your discs in the chest were in a really bad shape, especially the, the, the one between the T9 and the T10. As a matter of fact, bone was growing horribly in multiple places. And uh, we decided we want to take care of that disc. And we did that surgery just yesterday. We did that surgery yesterday. So our surgery was exactly two, uh, 42 minutes. Um, and we uh, lost very little blood from that surgery, around 100 cc, which is really nothing for a thoracic surgery. And we did it with minimal invasive, with a dime size incision on the side of your chest. And so, how have you been since the surgery? How, how are you? I am doing, I feel like a new man. I, I know I'm not ready to get up and start mm -hmm. walking great distances yet till mm -hmm. the incision and everything and the fusion heals. But Compared to what I was going through, I, on a scale of one to 10 with pain, I'm probably at about a three right now. Excellent, excellent. Now, specifically that turn, pain that was turning around the chest, how is that right now? That is gone. Good, good. That's excellent, gone. Excellent. And you said the, your sleeping last night, you said turning and twisting and sleeping was always difficult. How was sleeping last night? Sleeping was pretty good, doctor. I slept probably about seven hours. Excellent. I excellent. haven't slept that long in the last year and a half. Well, you know, and we are just one day after the surgery. In the traditional surgery, actually, you crack open your chest, collapse along, and that requires us to put a chest tube, put you in the ICU. And that, by automatically, is about five to seven days just hospital stay, multiple nights ICU stay until the chest tube comes out. You don't have any chest tube. The surgery was through a dime size uh, uh, surgery. And uh, you're ready to walk today and uh, much faster than after open surgery because we didn't have to crack open your chest. And I think what you're describing is that, you know, the recovery after minimal invasive, which is very different than recovery after open surgery. Overall, you feel comfortable right now? Uh, yes, I do. I've had surgeries before mm -hmm. and uh, with you. And every time I do, it is very successful. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I like the mannerism of the doctors involved and the nurses. Mm -hmm. The aftercare is excellent. Mm -hmm. so. And at least I would recommend people to come and talk to you yeah, and you. get a consultation. Thank you. I appreciate and that. And then make a decision from there. But there is nothing more that can be done what you mm. haven't done. Thank you. And as far as the, as you said, the incision side where they had to crack the chest open, I would not be sitting here in this chair today. No, no, you would, you would be in the ICU laying down with the tube coming out of your chest. Yes, I know. <laughs> so this, this non-invasive operation mm -hmm. is a breakthrough for patients who are suffering like I am. Mm -hmm. And I think everyone should look into it. Yes, I, and, and get a get an idea of what exactly is involved, 
and it is like three quarters of the time uh, less. Mm -hmm. So it's only a quarter of the time more for recovery than mm -hmm. it would be if you did not have this. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for the